Loyola took only seven minutes to get on the scoreboard. Alvaro Castiella, fine work here. To feed Jingoy Valmeyer, who didn't make a mistake with his left foot. 1-0 Loyola. Koichi Belgira showing his skill on this attempt. When the ball fell back to Valmayor, he shot wide. And then on the other side of the pitch, Green Archers trying to equalize, and they nearly did here. Superb technique by Jimwell Areola, but the shot over the crossbar. In the 20th minute, Loyola eventually extended the lead to 2-0. James Young husband beating backup keeper Kim Versales of Green Archers United. 2-0. But the Archers got it. One of those goals right back. Gary Apeso. A powerful shot beating Loyola's backup keeper Guy Hasegawa. And then it was the turn of the keepers to shine. Versales alertly parrying this deflected attempt and denying the strong shot from Castiella. In the beginning of the second half, it was his opposite number, Hasegawa, who impressed, snuffing Janjan Melisa. Later, Jimwell Ariola by making himself very big on that play. Is this a shot or is it a cross? Only Taj Minikon can tell you, but they all count. It's a goal in the 70th minute, and Leola is up three goals to one. And Leola put the game away. Three minutes later, Jingoy Valmayor to Jake Moraglia, the substitute in the net. A goal made in Negros. 4-1 to Loyola. Archers were without suspended defender William Ebanda and it was up to Kim Versales to provide the last line of defense. Archers did get a second goal though. Sweet ball forward by Ronnie Agizanda taken by Janjan Jan Melisa and he slides it past Hasegawa. But uh, Loyola were the stronger team here. Kim Versales with a couple of more saves near the end of the match to keep the scoreline pretty respectable. Archers tried to go for a third goal, but it just wouldn't come. Final score, Loyola Baralco Sparks 4, Green Archers United Globe 2.